Hi, this is uh, going to be a how-to uh, test and repair video on a old, this is an older version, uh, Parmac Range Master. We don't get them in very often, at least this model. We get a bunch of Parmacs in, but not this particular model. It seems to be an okay unit. Uh, this is an older version of it. The newer ones are, are red in case is a black case unit. But if you got one of these things you want us to take a look at it or welcome to send it in here, we'll be happy to... Have to take a look at it for you. Um, now on Parmax, stuff, just a, as an FYI, on any of their units, um, we're set up as a repair um, facility, whatever you want to call it, for basically about any brand you can think of, old style, new style, any of the major brands built today, we can work on all their stuff. we got accounts set up with all of them. Um, but of all the brands we work on, Parmax is the only brand that we cannot sell parts for. They have a uh, UL policy because these are all UL listed units right there their insurance UL policy whatever you want to call it um, forbids anybody from selling a part so that's the downside to the brand I, I can't sell their parts I can work on them till the cows come home but I can't um, I can't sell their parts so and these ones are so these older ones are so finicky on the inside um, we'll open it up here in a second, but um, there's a lot going on with these older ones. They got a lot of wires everywhere. It's a spiderweb mess of stuff. All right, got it plugged in here, and it doesn't do anything. I see some discoloration here, but I don't know if that's just the case cover being a little wonky or it's actually got problems. All right, it doesn't come on at all, so we're going to pull the fuse out, check the fuse first. All right, it physically looks okay, but let's actually test the fuse instead of just assuming it's good because sometimes a little filament will go all the way across, but then it'll be broken inside the silver part. So we'll test continuity. Fuse is good. So we'll put the fuse back in it. So now we're going to pull this apart. Oh, these have got the stupid security screws in it. And I gotta figure out which screws it takes. I don't or which bit I need to use to pull them all apart. Oh, it's a tight one. Now, if this is at the original style parts, and this is going to be a, yep, it's a spider web mess of wires everywhere. Look, there's got wires going everywhere in this. All right, so let me, um, now they have simplified this unit a lot since this version was built. And they made this variation of unit up until about 2017, 18 when they revamped all their digital readout units, old style, new style. So let me go get that, uh, that new set of parts for this so we can get this thing squared away and done and going. Uh, give me just a minute here. All right, I got all the, the new parts for it that will allow us to get this going because they, they don't make any of these boards anymore. These are all obsolete parts. Except for the capacitor and transfer, which those hopefully are good. We will test. We'll test everything. But basically, what I got to do first on this version, I've got to yank. I'm gonna actually gonna start cutting and yanking all the crap out of it that we don't need. So a lot of this is just going, going bye bye. We don't need any of this wiring. So. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this board out. Oops. Don't need that bit right now. I need this one. Put that screw there. There's the old... Ooh, look. That chip right there is all blown out. So that's probably the whole problem. But you can't get these anymore. This is your obsolete part. So we got to... We got to go this route. 
so now we are going to pull this board off Oops, let's get a screw so there's oh, oh, that board's all burnt up too and there's pieces of stuff laying inside here some pieces of whatever it is all right and now i need my phillips screwdriver i'll do the transformer from this discharge board now, i don't know 100 percent god damn it fuck that shocked me Pastor had a charge still in it. <laughs> that doesn't happen very often. Fuck, man. Ow. All right, go on to the next one. <laughs> That'll be a good one for a video. All right. I didn't even think to discharge a capacitor just because it didn't do anything. So I just assumed it, you know, wouldn't. Didn't discharge it. I've been hit harder, but that wasn't... I've been hit a lot harder. But that was hard enough. Hit me right there in the finger. That's where I felt it, right there. But didn't burn me this time. Alright, so now you can snip... Snip that off. Let's get these wires pulled out. This thing kind of stinks too. All right, don't need that. So let's snip out that board. All right, we don't need this anymore either, so we'll pull that out. Uh, this will fit it. Yep. Phew. This thing just looks like it's been. Oh, it stinks! Well, this. Don't need any of these parts. That's going away. This is going away. Hold on. We gotta get the power cord loose from this little board. Same as right here. All right, well, all right, let's get a snip. Reuse that. All right, let's take these screws out. And I want to dump, shake out this all this, all these pieces of things that got blown up somewhere. So now we're starting with a clean shape, slate. The only thing I don't know is if this transformer is good or not. We won't know. It's probably bad. But gotta get the unit clicking and snapping again. 
all right so let's get the new main board installed plastic thing broke oh, can't use that screw mount so let's see if we can do this one Okay, so this power cord and fuse have to go on here a certain way. Of course, the white part of the cord goes in the white one. I'm gonna strip this, strip these back. Hopefully, these are long enough to reach. If not, we'll have to make up new ones. All right, so this one I think goes over here. discharge board. Uh, I was missing the screws on here, so I have to steal the the old one. Let me, I need a zip tie to hold, actually plug it on. They recommend to put a zip tie through here to hold that in there so that way it doesn't wobble and come off during shipping or transit or back to your truck. So let me go find a zip tie the right size. Right, this is the right size. Yeah, that'll fit. Okay, let me discharge the capacitor one more time to make sure it's not charged up. And also, let's check that. I mean, I'm sure it's good, but it's a 15, 16 year old transform or capacitor, so you never know. I don't even know what size it is, but we'll just test see what it reads. It's probably a 30, it reads 30.1, so yeah, it's fine. They don't go bad that often on these power masses. That's one of the more reliable parts on their units. Pushed on there all the way. Come on. Oh my. There it is.
All right, so now I'll put this transformer in like this. Come on. Display board. It's the new display board that the lights on right here. Your uh, digital readout. And you have the little speaker right here for the alarms. So I think it goes like this, yeah, like this. But we'll get to that point here in a second. Next thing, we need a feedback wire. Right there. And it needs to attach. We have to pull this transformer out here for a second. I think that's what we're going to have to This has to this feedback wire has to attach to the plates of the transformer, so we have to figure out what we're going to do there. I think I got this bolt here. It's awful long. Let's um, mark this. my little Dremel cutting tool thing but I got a sawzall thing here that we can use to cut this but I need to get this screw in a vise because I'm gonna cut I don't have a bolt the right size that I can just put in there so I'm going to we're going to put it I'm going to take it, I'm going to put this in this vise, we're going to cut off some of this, let me go get it, oh I got my sawzall type tool here, and we're going to slice and dice, I'm going to cut it right about there, hopefully it does this, let's readjust this vice a little bit. Let me move the screw down this a little bit deeper into it and we're going to crank out the hold it. So hope it holds it in place for us. Try to do a straight cut. I think that will fit this. I think I got something. Yeah. As long as I didn't bug up the threads too much, hopefully it just goes right on there. Alright, 
so that should be good. like that I want to get the nut kind of started hope I'm doing this right this kind of, I'm going to cut it a little long so if I need to make an adjustment I can this underneath like this I think this is the right I believe I need to attach another wire from there to here but let me actually let me look at my book I think I got a book on this unit let me um There's supposed to be another wire that goes from here to here. So let me just sacrifice this wire. This wire will work. We'll go from here to there. So we're going to cut it kind of long to have a little room to work with. I'll have to loosen that back up a little bit. this nut here. Let's solder these two together. hook in it. Oh, damn it. I guess this wire's a little too thin. Let's do the different wire then. This should work. back in here strip this back take that long wire I just had here a moment ago and held it go
Well, I don't know where I put the green wire at, just fall down in here. a little these bars back in here. this and then we'll cut about right there strip off a little bit here add some solder to it solder here and then hopefully just fuse them together all right how long is this video so far almost half an hour all right, so now we've got to tie all these boards together now so they work together. All right, I don't remember. I always forget which which one goes where, and I don't think the book shows you. Of course not. Well, actually, kind of does. It's black and white, not in color. All right, let's see. Get the let's see. I can tell. It looks like. I think it's going to be like this. I think it's this to this. Either this or the other way. I can't tell. Probably this. 
All right, well, let's plug it in and see what it does. Maybe we, we may have to switch some wires around, but let's give it a whirl. Nothing yet. Switch this around. We got that backwards. Oh, there we go. All right. You see it arcing down here. We got a bad transformer too. So I kind of wonder about this. This little scorch spot there. So I figured the transformer was probably having an issue, possibly. I wasn't going to know until we got the unit clicking again. So we got the unit almost ready to go. So we're going to take this transformer. It's the one we're going to put in place of it. Make sure that these plates are straight. All right, so we're going to unhook this. This faster is definitely got to charge in it now. Um, and then we're going to do that. And then we need to, whoops. Snip this wire. This wire says so transfer was in 2006, April of 06. So, and a sticker on the on the capacitors, also the stamping on the capacitors 06 as well. So this is um, probably this is the factory transfer. This unit probably has never been worked on. I mean, maybe those old boards have been replaced or done something with them at some point in time. But for the most part, it looks like it's still factory stuff going on. So we're going to put this bolt back through it, get the nut kind of start on it so that it doesn't fall out. And then we're going to transform back in this little spot. Go for this. For this. I don't need, to need that much exposed. Sink that side. Come on.
I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put this contact cement or contact glue right there to kind of help hold hold things So now, snip off some of this. Don't need that. So now we're going to heat up this. Add a little solder to the tip of the iron. All right, now let's plug it in and make sure we get a good volt reading there. All right, here we go. 15. All lights are doing its thing. So this is good to go. All right, now now we got to get this in there. Gotta get this in there just right so the stupid little LEDs don't fall out. is still floating around here from the wires or <sighs> should be good let's go ahead and tuck these wires let's um, get a cable tie and we'll zip these together real quick so they're staying in place Needs to come up like this. Get on there. Okay. All right, let's uh, plug it in one more time. Still doing its thing. Let's put a fence tester across there and see what kind of bolt reading we get. Should probably be. Let me turn it off for a second. Let me screw this in a little further. Getting almost 10,000 volts out of it. 
it's about normal. These numbers there are kind of gimmicky, but they do tell you when you get a load on it, it will fall, you know, but then go up and down as the load changes on the fence. Um, but they're not accurate when it comes to output voltage. They're usually between 7 to 9 on these Parmax. So now we'll plug this wire and I want to screw it back together. Spark it'll throw. All right, well, that's it for now. Uh, it took a little while to fix that one. It took me almost well, this is 45 minutes or so on there. That's probably about right. But if you'd like us to take a look at something for you, send it on in here. I'll be happy to get it going for you. We you know, this is an older version. It usually don't take this long, but we had to basically gut the thing uh, to get it going right because you can't get those old style parts anymore. So, but this was, you know, it yeah, this took a little bit of time and a lot of new parts in there, but it's still, you know, cheaper to fix this than to buy a new one because the new one's like about 250 bucks, maybe 225 final on sale. So we basically got. All new boards, new transformer, the only thing original to its capacitor. I add it all up, but it's still less than half the price. So, still, until next time, we'll see you guys later on, and hope you had a good day. Bye-bye.